Stop, just start by warming up the body. What they never do in CrossFit is warm up the body, which is kind of awful. Firstly, just nice and loose, loosen the body up. You're just going to like spiral it movement here, swaying through the hips. Side to side. <laughs> Good. The other way. Good. Coiling for the rotation. Arms loose. Okay, just for the knees, just feet together, you're just going to come down. Oops. Second. La la la. There we go. So just feet together, bringing the knees down. Stretching back up, and down, stretching back. Good, just one more time. And then very small circles. One way and then the other. Good. Just bringing the feet out parallel. Try and keep the heel down, straight through the back leg. I'm changing. Toes parallel. A little bit deeper. If you've got a soft wall, you can and now forward into the hip a little bit more. Okay, changing. Stretching into the hip. While we're down, yeah, start with the feet. I'm going to stretch them forward, just point the toes, point in the toes, and then taking them out sideways. Keep the ankle joint loose, yeah, and then circles one way, and then the other way. Take one foot over, clamp it, and then rotate the toes and the knee and the ankle. So it's both directions. You take the thumb, just press into the base, the sole of the foot. And pressure, and into the toes. Just work them individually. Circles. Just take the ankle by both hands and really relax. Shake the ankle out. Shake the foot out. <clears throat> and then just change sides. So clamp. Rotate the ankle with the toes. Both directions. Thumbs depressing into the floor. And then work into the top. Taking the both hands, shaking it out. Okay, go for the laser. Go for the head. So you're going to press from the back. Press down with weight. No force, just weight of the arm. 
and then come back the front you're going to press up slowly down and then take the opposite hand over the head and just add weight just over bring in the ear to the shoulder good slowly back changing side Good. And just very circles, just to the front, and then just okay, we just go for the wrist, nice and quickly. Yeah, like an so the thumb down, thumb both thumbs down, pressing, pressing in. Just do eight. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, three, and keep the contact. Good. Good. Palm down, take the fingers, just stretch the arm out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and chain, hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make a fist, in resistance, just roll it. Roll the wrist both ways. Good, and then change. Linking the hands together, in this case, keep the palms in contact. Just roll, roll them this way. Both directions, kind of tricky. Really try and maintain the contact with the palms. And then separating, just rolling the fingers out. This way. Rolling through the joint. Rolling through the joint. You get super flexible. Just out, very lightly. Take them out. Shake the feet out. We'll do the same. We'll do the exercise. We'll do them kind of slow and do them at your own time. In this case, this starts like a plank. So if you know a plank, you start like this position here. And then what you do is just press up through the hand here and then come down. Okay? So you go from a plank position here to a press up position. Just take it very slowly. We work around and try and find the whole body in the movement. Really slowly in your other hand. From a plank to a press up. Okay, good. Take a little bit of a rest. From here, you're going to stand up. Good. <laughs> we go on, we do more. <laughs> In this case, you go down with a squat. You're going to touch with one hand to the ground. You're going to come up and you're going to bring the feet together. And then you're going to split, reach with the other hand. So each time you bring the feet together, press out, find the ground. Press out, find the ground. You can do this with a sense of coffee as well. So here, reaching down, reaching down. So it's here. Do this really slow. Reaching forward, really getting into the hips. This way. This way. Good. Okay. Take a bit of a rest. Rest the legs. 
The next one's a uh, mountain climber. So. <laughs> <laughs> really great one. You can do this two ways. I'm going to show you. So, so there's, there's easy and, and kind of rapid. You just bring the knees in. Right. So, mountain climber, like you climb up a mountain. The hard way is you do both feet together, like this, like you're running. This way. You can do one. You can climb, or you can do like this. This way. Give it a try. Mountain climbers. Good. <laughs> Good. Okay. Stop. Rest. Wait, I'll show you the next one. The next one's just a leg, just the knee raise. So just this way. Take a rest between, so don't go straight into these. Right? So this is the basic. The other one is the same, kind of running this way. Bringing the knees up this way. Yeah, you can do just slow. Placing and raising. Placing and raising. Just focus on the weight and the balance. That's it. Really sinking the weight down, raising. Sinking, raising. Good. Good. Okay, so we'll go down to the ground again. This time, the same in a press up position. You're going to take one hand out and one leg back, the opposite foot. So the hand, one hand, and the opposite foot. Reach out, come back. If the balance is too hard, just go with one arm. One arm, one arm. And then if you can do that, bring the leg out too. Stretching through the body. Good. That's it. Good. And then take a break. Need a bit of a break. And the next one's just a very basic. Yeah. The wide. I went to squat down also with the cookie as well, so coming out and reaching out with the body. You're gonna squat down. The weight stays in the back of the heel. And come back. Raise up, do this really slowly. Just focusing on the structure between the knee, hip, knee and toes. Curling up, coming down. Curling up, coming down. Yeah, just a nice deep squat right into the legs. Yeah. Maybe pressing from the ground to raise. So pressing from the ground. Pressing from the ground. Pressing from the ground. Good. Good. And then take just a little break. <clears throat> I show you the next one. The really basic leg raise. So this position, keep the arms flat in front. Don't let the heels touch the mat or the ground. Bring them up and then bring them down. Bring them up, bring them down. Very good. OK, 
Okay, good. Last one. We'll do. This one is usually all the CrossFit, they end with a burpee. You know what a, a burpee is? Uh, <laughs> it's a kind of killer exercise. So they always end with a burpee, which is awful. Um, <laughs> but what we're going to do is end with what's kind of known as either an Indian press up or a, a kind of dive, which maybe is not any better. But from here, you have both, all four joints splayed, and you press through here. Roll and then roll back through the body. You come through, press up, and just come back. Roll through, press up, roll back. But if you can do that easily, roll through one way, and then roll through back. Really great for the body. Good. Okay, take a little break. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we do it, we're going to do 50 seconds. Ba, 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 ba. Have a little break, and then you go again. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. But uh, it's Friday, so whatever. We're going to go just to work on a little bit of chemi. So just from here, really slow, changing each side. Down, and just changing each side. With the whole body connecting it around and spiraling. Real calm, use the breath. Great. Okay, we'll do a little bit of work on a full um, Shido, Kemi. From, the, from, in this case, from the knee here like this, like this. What you're going to do is go all the way over here with the toe, touch, and then push yourself back. So don't fully go over with the rotation. For control, here, reach, and then come back. Reach, and come back. So without the full rotation, give it a try. You change the side or do you roll back on one side? The same side. So when you push back, you will you'll revert back to the same side. That's it. That's it. And the same, just change sides up. Push back. Push back. Push back. Yeah, it's in your own time. Good. And then the last exercise <clears throat> for the dummy is here. You're going to coil back. You're going to go all the way over now. Roll over. 
Yeah, and then keep the contact with the hand, and you're going to go into a fall. This way. So you coil back all the way over, and then coil back. You just reverse the movement. You go backwards, and then just reverse it and come forward. All right. Go ahead. Okay, super. Good. So just shake yourself out. We'll do some more work on uh, Temi that uh, I looked at on Wednesday and Brendan looked at yesterday. So we'll kind of, we'll go back to those basics and then we'll expand on them a little bit. There's a few more strikes that you can do. So we'll just start very basic. In this case, you're going to take one foot forward. So a little bit different from last time. We're doing just feet together or in a square posture. This time with a, with a, with a hammy, the front foot, and you're just going to practice from the back foot. From here with a strike. Here with a strike. Finding the center line. Striking through. Striking through. Striking through. Either the fist with a rope like this. Sides up. Practice this one. You've got two options. You can step from the back foot and strike in. So stepping from the back foot, injecting in. Or you can just slide through with the front foot and strike. And you can do that both sides up. So front foot, back foot, back hand. This way, this way. Just ex this way. This way. Yeah, some of them are more intuitive than others. Just explore the possibility. So two legs, two hands. So in this case, just your height as well. So when we do these kind of two down, two down level, you've also got Jodan level, Jodan level. So just practice strike for the head, yeah, or strike for the sternum, for the chest. So head or lower, and just explore a little bit the distance. Okay. I get to practice actually a lot is the, the front hand to a Jodan, so like this. This comes in this way. This. We actually use this a lot in the show work as well. It's very similar 
similar for you. So just pressing from the back foot and striking in. Very fast. Kind of devastated. Yeah, very fast. Yeah. Uh, Michael, Michael, question. Is it with the fist or is it with the flat hand or uh, I couldn't quite see it? You can do both. So you can play with the, with the kind of palm, this way, so the palm receiving, the palm making the strike or with mm -hmm. a fist. So just explore both. You can also do with the, with like a shomenuchi, like this, like a tega So you've got actually three options. This, this with the palm or this with the fist. You can play with three. Thank you. Okay, good. So that's arms. We'll go to legs. So we never really kick in our kickers, and we very rarely focus on defenses against people. But we do quite, sometimes quite a lot in the dojo. Just going to start like this with one leg forward, the hands out. You're just going to in and make contact with the arm, with the hand. This way, and then bring it back. Just like this. One, two, three, five. Yeah, like this. So the bounce is shifting onto one leg, and I'm pressing out. Pressing out. The leg is curled. Just go this way. This way. Very similar to the work we were doing this morning in the in the Pitsuburi. So coming over and pressing the weight into one leg. Here and then coiling back. Here, coiling back. Just do both sides. Use the hands as a guide. The knee comes very quite high. Curls up, curls up comes down. Curls up, comes down. Once you've got the coordination for this, try to make it like a snap. So it snaps in and comes back. Snaps in, comes back. Snaps in, comes back. So I spend very little time on one leg. And then just go to the back, nice and slow, in the back, curl it up in the same way, curl up, you're going to press out and then you're going to curl back. You're just going to one, two, three, two, two, three, in this case. What you want to avoid in this case is doing this kind of kick, like a, this is a football kick, this is how you kick a ball. But in this case, what you want to do is inject power through this way and then curl back, here and then curl back, here curl back. Here, yeah, curl back. It's very fast. The, 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 the leg has a sense of whipping through. Whipping through. Whipping through. Back on side. And then we just do a slight adjustment to that kick. Maybe, maybe it's, it's not, so, uh, it's not uh, so well advised to kind of kick in this way. You really, it's very danger, dangerous in terms of balance, in terms of keeping your balance. The kick you will tend to find is actually a kick that's very low. It's for the, this is for the shin or for the knee. And it's either going to go to the front of the knee to collapse the knee, 
or to the side, even worse, to collapse the knee this way. In this case, the same dynamic, just very low. This case comes here and I inject down. So the same sense of injecting, you learn this in a big move here, and then you learn it here. This. Yeah, so this is a kind of pressure down this way. And I maybe force the crunch into the into the into the knee this way. This way. Stabling. This is a kind of shin or a knee. With the same dynamic. Both sides. And also experiment in this case with the front leg. So pressing from the back and snapping in. Snapping in. This is a kick that's really dangerous. Actually. And it's the one we actually avoid all the time when we do katata dory work. Slide off to the side. Most of the time, is, um, um, when you slide off the side and pull the, slightly draw the weight into the front foot, it's to prevent them from being able to, to make this kind of kick. So this kick's can devastate them. So if I have my weight on my back foot, I can just snap the legs. And again, I'm going to this way. This way. This way. Michael. Yeah, sure. Do you press your heel in it or your toes? Do your toes curl up? This way, it's it's kind of pressured down. So the the the, the pressure. Yeah. So your your toes point towards you. You pull them towards you. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Them up. You see that? Yeah. 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 But actually, the the pressure's actually being made with the heel. Yeah. Okay. This way. In the same way here. Yeah. Just explore. So front foot or back foot. Very efficient movement. <laughs> That's it. Right. Last uh, attempts we'll look at is, is uh, with the elbows. So we've done with the fists, with the legs, and now we look at just with the elbows here. So <clears throat> the first one, you're just going to inject the elbow this way, this way, this way. So very similar dynamic to the fist, but now just with the elbow, you're just going to rotate it out this way, this way. Yeah, use the back arm also as a as a guide. You can play again <laughs> this way. This way, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do this front foot or back foot. Nice. Okay, and in terms of this work, obviously, logically, you've got less reach than with the hand. So in this case, don't try and don't try and reach don't reach the same distance with the elbow. This will really take you out of structure. So in this case, in this case, you would be very close to the person. So in terms of elbow strikes, this is when you're really where the person's here. The person's really up, and your the strikes here. So don't think about distance or reaching out. The person's actually very close in this case, so you don't need to go anywhere. This way. If the person's further away, you go for the fit. But here, elbow. Elbow. Try and really stay in the structure. Good. That way. Good. That's it. Nice. The other elbow strike is a raising one. So from here, it curls up this way. So it's quite similar. In this case, this was a cross. In this case, this raises up this way. Raises up this way. My arm goes to the head. Yeah, something lower. 
Yeah. Yeah. You can say? Upper body. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, raise it up this way. Raise it up. Raise it up. So the contact point in this case is just, just below the point of the elbow, just above the point of the elbow. So I'm, I'm hitting this far. This is obviously for the chin. Boom. This way. Excuse me. Mike, we use the leg for extension of the strike. Yeah, for sure. We use, so, we use our leg. Our leg for extension of the strike. Uh, okay. In this case, you're going to coil out. I'm, I'm basically all my weights in this foot, this, this leg. Yes. Coiling this way. This is a difficult one because the, the weight's transferred across the body. This way. This yes. Way. My foot's quite light. Okay. I'm not, in this case, I'm not yeah. pushing up. I'm not really pushing out of the back leg. All I'm doing is sinking weight into the front. Yeah. This way. This okay. The back leg's actually quite loose. This way. Thank you. And then just try both sides. You can do this on the same side, but it's a little bit tricky. You can't really generate so much power, but this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. This way. You can't really generate too much power with it. This is a better strike from the back leg. I just explore this way. Good. That's it. Nice. Good, good, good. Okay, so the last elbow strike you can do from this way. It's kind of from the side this way. This way. This way. This one's either done sideways, the person here. You strike out this way. It's done from the rear. This way. And this is done at really like a Nushiroski. This way. So I inject the elbow this way. In this case, I'm making contact above the elbow. So here, so I'm making contact here with the arm, this way. Yeah. So just explore in this case, sideways, this way, this way, and then also from the rear, this way. Yeah. Just explore both sides, this way, this way. In this case, you're gonna press from the opposite foot. So pressing here, striking here, striking here, striking here, striking here. So just now explore the three elbow strikes in a little bit of more a little bit more movement. So you've got the cross one. This way, you've got the raise, this way, and you've got the reverse, this way. So just now explore slightly in movement. Moving, moving, striking, striking, striking. And then start to play with them, start to combine them. Yeah, just in one time. So these three basic. Yes, Russ. Yes. Okay, with them. Now we've got the movement. Really, in this case, get a really try and get a sense of the whole body doing the movement. So, <clears throat> what you don't want to do is again, it's like the elbow does it. The elbow does the strike. But get a feeling that pressure from the ground transfers into the hip, and then the elbow goes. So my 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 pressure from the ground transfers into the hip, and then it presses out the arm, it sends the arm out. This is the same. Try and, try and uh, access the same dynamics you use in the weapon work. <clears throat> so. Really, that's really the same dynamic. 
same dynamic. Very similar movement. Raising of the sword. <coughs> These kind of. Okay, good. So we've got some now some body work fully. You're gonna work with a kind of Tina Henko movement. So this kind of movement. This kind of movement. I want you to just find strikes in it. So the easiest ones with the fist, the front fist, you rotate and you strike. Yeah. So you rotate and you strike out. Kind of the same dynamic, move and strike. And strike. Yeah. And then if you can, see if you can find other ones. So there's lots of attempts that you can do in this. Just working with a tiny anchor as a base. Rotating, generating power through the turn and then making the strike. Oh. So we'll go to the Muratadori. So the, the strike in Muratadori here, one's with the elbow here, this, and the second one's hidden, is the elbow, and then the fist here stretches through here. So you've got two strikes actually in, in the movement here, elbow, here, here, and the backhand curls and makes a fist. So this, 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 then. And then here to the side. Yeah, give it a try. So the Muratadori. Michael. This way. Michael. Yeah. How do you give the power to the second hand, which is punching? Can uh, I can I can I see the hip work to yeah. from this spot? I just press this way. This way. This way. This way. This is this is a strike <clears throat> I would I make to the ribs. This is to the this is to the floating ribs. Yeah. And I don't need a lot of power in it. I just want to make contact and press the. Okay. 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 It's not a great. It's not a great deal of power in it. But in this case, it's here, and then striking through. This is for resisting ukes. If oh, you have. Sure. <laughs> and just give them a quick dig in the ribs. Hey. Hey. So in terms of the in terms of the Marotadori, the the, the actual elbow strike's not really available because the hand's being grabbed. I can't make the elbow strike. So in this case, it functions as a strike, but I, I can't make contact with it. In this case, this is the one that would make the would make the strike fully. Yeah. And then what you can do is explore this like you would a katatadori, kokunage. So in this case here is actually taking the hand out, and then this hand's free. And in this case, there I find the elbow. Then you can actually make the strike in this case. So you replace the arm and then generating power from the back this way with the strike. So here and out. Yeah. Slide into the side, coiling out. So coil into the ground and then press out with the strike this way. Yeah. Wow. 
Okay, good. So we'll look at a full technique. We'll go to Shihonage. So there's um, four or five, four atemi points in this technique. So we'll just start with the first one from Katata Dori. The first one we never, we never do in practice, but you're going to step out to the side this way, this way. And as you do it, the backhand strikes for the head this way. So the front foot comes out. Basically, leave the hand where it is. So I just rotate around, pivot around the arm. Yeah, and then the back hand strikes him for the head this way. And this way. And it happens at the same time. So you slide out, strike. Just that part. Slide out, strike. So here, slide out, strike. Slide out, strike. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Okay, this function is kind of similar uh, to the ikkyo atemi. So when you slide out to the side and you make this uraken, this functions in the same way. There's not a lot of power in the, in the, in the fist because it's coming from the back and at a twist. I can't really generate too much power, but it's just a distraction. So it's just to distract to give me time to take the risk. So in this case, it's a fast snap, and then I take I'm taking the risk. So it's this, this, and it's just to cover my movement. This, this. So don't worry about generating power. It's just the movement forward towards the eyes to distract the take. Yeah. You're gonna now do this movement, and then go as if you're gonna take it. So come out and you take it. Good. Nice, nice, nice. Good. Okay, the second strike is an elbow. So from here, come out to the side, this strikes in. I'm going to take now from here. I adjust the foot, and this arm that's grabbed is released, and I can strike into the rib here, this way. Okay. Because like this, strikes in, I take here, I adjust, and as this releases, I strike into the rib. So here, strike, strike. Strike, rotate, adjust the foot, generate power now from this foot. This strikes in, this way. Here, this way. Here, this way, this way, and then it snaps in. Yeah? Try. You want to focus on the elbow. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 
That's a good Uh, so one of the reasons a lot of the Atemi work is taken out is that it, it can disturb the quality of the movement. And in this case, definitely it disturbs the spiral. So when you do this movement, my tendency is to block it and then go to this kind of form. But try and see if you can maintain the spiral through the form. So this hand is still going to spiral and coil this way. So let's keep a sense of spiraling with the, with the joint. So keep the cocu. In this case, go with the elbow. In this way. But still with a sense of cocu spiraling this way this way and then it comes in this way and then it comes in hey. ah, this way try <laughs> Good. Okay, good. The very last strike. Uh, actually, sorry, the third strike. There's one more, but it's on the floor. So we'll forget the last one. In this case, you come out to the side. You've got this one. You've got this one. And now from the back leg to the knee, I snap into the knee. So this is a snap into the side of the knee. And then that comes through the throat. Okay, so from here, you slide out. The elbow comes in. Back leg, I just snap into the joint this way. So it's a kind of whipping strike to the side, and then you come through. So you've got one, two, three, and then come through this way. Yeah, give it a try. That's a snapping kick to the side of the knee. Good. Yeah. Great, Bernie. That's it. That's it. You got it. Great. Oh, we'll do the last strike just for fun anyway, so you know it. This is on the ground, so when you've pinned them, just to finish them off to make sure. You come here, one, two, you snap the knee. This is where you step in forward and you cut them down into the ground. You cut them down. Now, with both, we usually do the pin with both hands and pin down. In this case, you can release the front hand or the back hand. And this is a strike to the, to the, to the, between the eyes, right in between the eyes. So then you come here, coil down, and then strike down. Yeah, this way. So it's here, coiling in, pressing down, and then striking down on the ground. Yeah, give it a try, just for fun. <laughs> Okay, and then the very last thing, just run through the technique, but you can omit all the atemis, or you can add one or two, or all of them. But really just run through and focus on the quality of it now. So moving, coiling down. We're really generating power through spiral work, using the ground. Really 
connection. Here. This way. Yeah, or you can insert the Atemi as you like. Play around with it. So either do the technique fully with no Atemi or introduce them. Michael, it's yeah. Serena. Sure. Um, I'm very sorry, I'm going to have to go. So thank you very much. Good to see you. Yeah, I'll see you soon. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Yeah, see you in the morning. That's it, great. Okay, good. So we'll finish with a bow. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Good.